Black holes fascinate us primarily because we know very little about them. Given their ability to attract everything around them, not even allowing light to escape, this is totally understandable. We can't get too close to them in detail, of course. We're left only to observe them from a distance. And on top of all that, the distance is extremely far. But even in this way, I managed to learn a lot of interesting things about them. And today, I'm ready to share this information with you. We already know that at a certain stage of its existence, a star can turn into a black hole. But what about the Sun? It's so huge that it can fit 1.3 million planets the size of Earth inside. However, according to scientists, it's still too small to turn into a black hole. For this, the Sun would need to gain 20 times more mass than it has now. Then it would have a chance to turn into a supernova causing its core to begin to shrink inward, gravity would increase, and only then the Sun become a black hole. All this is just hypothetical data, but nothing prevents us from fantasizing, right? So now, let's apply scientific theories in order to imagine just what kind of a black hole the Sun could become. In order to do this, we need the gravitational radius discovered by Carl Schwarzschild in 1916. It indicates how large the event horizon of a cosmic body would be if it became a black hole. For the Sun, this radius is 2.95 kilometers, or 1.83 miles. Simply put, if we could turn the Sun into a black hole, its diameter would be almost 6 kilometers, or 3.7 miles. If it were a flat disk, we could cover that distance in about an hour. By the way, for the Earth, you can also calculate the gravitational radius, although our planet will never become a black hole. According to scientists, it would be just 8.87 millimeters or 0.35 inches. Thus, you get a black hole with a diameter of almost 1.7 centimeters or 0.67 inches. It would turn out so small that it would look like a penny. However, it's not known what danger we could expect from it. As you know, hypotheses and new theories can be infinitely long. But it's much more interesting and important to discuss something that actually exists and attracts a lot of attention. As long as we're talking about black holes, now it's time to get acquainted with one of the most gigantic of them. This incredible space object has a mass 40 billion times more than the Sun. I know, it's simply hard to believe, but it's not fiction. I verified everything. This black hole is situated in the center of a galaxy called Holmberg 15a. Located at a distance of about 700 million light-years from us in the Abel 85 cluster. This black hole is one of the largest ever discovered, found by tracking the movement of stars around it. Its event horizon would cover the orbits of all the planets of our solar system and even more. It's almost 13 times larger than the heliosphere. In addition, its diameter is 40 times the distance from the Sun to Pluto. This black hole is no doubt striking in its power and size. It's even scary to imagine what could happen to a spaceship if it accidentally crossed the event horizon of such a giant. By the way, not only can black holes tear flying space objects into atoms, but they can also turn them into spaghetti. Which is exactly how scientists refer to this phenomenon, the noodle effect. It's so powerful that no cosmic body can resist it, regardless of its characteristics. After everything that I've already said, it seems that black holes can only absorb and destroy things. But this isn't exactly true. They can also create objects, no matter how strange this may sound. According to some scientists, our universe was not born by the Big Bang itself, but by a black hole. If their theory is correct, then when a star contracts, at some point, time inside it stops. 
The expansion that follows creates a new universe. It's still impossible to prove this, just as it's impossible to approach a black hole in order to test the hypothesis. In the meantime, we can only create computer models which, unfortunately, don't always reflect reality. However, some of the abilities of black holes are no longer in doubt. So, when any matter comes close enough to a black hole, it forms an accretion disk and its properties change. A new capability for this matter appears, the ability to transform other kinds of energy, for example, gravitational energy into radiation. This is a bit like a car. You put gas in the tank and from it, energy is generated for movement. The same principle applies to black holes. This process is about 30 times more efficient than nuclear fusion, the energy conversion mechanism that can be found in the sun and other stars. Despite incredible power, black holes are not eternal. According to scientists, they're able to evaporate over time. The amount of time this takes depends on the size. As confirmation, the principle of Hawking radiation can be cited. Initially, it was believed that black holes can only absorb. But quantum physics and Stephen Hawking turned this belief around. Black holes, like many other objects, constantly emit tiny particles, thus losing energy. This is not a quick process, but eventually it brings the cosmic body to the end of its existence. A bit like a burning candle. No matter how long it may be, the fire will gradually melt the wax and go out. The same goes for a black hole. It will gradually lose the particles of which it consists and disappear. But let's talk about what seems to be unchangeable rather than about such depressing things. I'm talking about the situation here in our own galaxy. According to astronomers, there are between 10 million and 1 billion stellar black holes in the Milky Way, with a mass that is on average 10 to 24 times the mass of the Sun. Such a wide range of numbers simply means that we don't know enough about the universe itself and its elements, including black holes. But on the other hand, this is a great incentive to continue our exploration of space, discovering more and more new properties of various objects. By the way, if it were not for the constant curiosity on the part of scientists, we wouldn't have learned about one interesting thing. Black hole gravity distorts the thermal radiation of an external accretion disk, bending it. I agree, that sounds pretty complicated, so let's simplify it a little more. Thermal radiation here doesn't behave the way we're used to. In the case of a black hole, light is first reflected from the internal accretion disk. Only then does it have the opportunity to break out of the gravitational field of the black hole so that scientists are able to detect it. Simply put, imagine that you launched a boomerang. It would fly away from you for some distance, and then, eventually, it would return back to you. This also happens with thermal radiation from the accretion disk of a black hole. But that's not all. Scientific research doesn't stop, and scientists discover new properties of black holes by observing the behavior of neighboring space objects. New hypotheses are constantly being put forth, sometimes contradicting what has already been said. So, it has been suggested that a black hole formed during the fusion of a neutron star rings like an echoing bell, which destroys the simple physics of black holes. Like many other hypotheses, this one still requires confirmation, or at least well-grounded arguments. If the echo really exists there, then it should come from the quantum space of a black hole. This is only possible if, rather than a void, there is a certain structure between the accretion disk and the event horizon. According to Stephen Hawking, we can be dealing not with the continuous boundary of the event horizon, but with a thinner, vague membrane 
that can transmit powerful radiation pulses. It's extremely difficult to confirm or refute this. Therefore, the theory remains a mystery and will require long and hard work on the part of scientific research. Maybe you will find the answer to this question. If you liked today's video, then give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you still haven't done so. Click on the bell so you won't miss out on notifications about new, interesting episodes and to be in the loop about the latest scientific discoveries.